Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable mug coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? For the third and final golden ticket gameplay of the day, we are looking at the brand new out-of-position tight end, Robert Woods. Before we hop into it, though, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 30,000 subscribers with the subscribe button, turn notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content and also do not forget to hit that like button and I will leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description I will be live tonight over on Twitch rating teams live if you want a chance to have your own team rated All you have to do is come through to the live stream tonight and as always the shout out of the day goes to my man The Barker boy shout out to the Barker boys for counting the emoji on last video so here is the out of position tight end Robert Woods. He's got 97 speed, 73 strength, 99 catching base, 98 catching traffic, 94 spec catch with 99 short, base 99 mid route running, 99 run block is one of the stats that were boosted on this card. And he's six foot, 193 pounds, 73 strength, 97 acceleration combined with the 97 speed. And today we're rocking with full play fake and full sprinter on Robert Woods. So if I'm being honest, I know I've said this before, but there are a lot of these golden tickets that I'm just not a fan of. This Robert Woods card I'm actually a big fan of because a card like this can only be created through the Golden Ticket promo. I feel like this year there wasn't enough cards like this and I'm a huge fan. 99 run block on a wide receiver at a position at tight end is just so cool to me. And like, yeah, like a card like this can only exist in the Golden Ticket program. Like EA's never dropping a card like this in a normal program with 99 run blocking. Like he has the highest run blocking for a tight end right now, um, which is actually it's just so funny to me as a receiver. But if we head down here, um, not only does he have 99 run block, so when I saw the run block at 99, I was concerned that the impact block and the you know the run block finesse and the lead block weren't gonna follow that, but they do. This guy can not only run block, but he can actually like run block, run block with high impact block. Um, the run block finesse is there. Run block power is not really there, which doesn't make sense, but can also pass block. Um, yeah, this card can legitimately play fullback and also has 93 deep route running combined with the 99 short and the 99 mid, 92 juke move, 89 break tackle with a 95 carry and a 91 COD. But yeah, remember one thing about Robert Woods. This card is a tight end. He's a legitimate tight end that can, you know, play fullback if he wants. You can actually put him out wide at receiver. This guy can literally be anywhere on the field. So for the abilities, Robert Woods is a golden ticket, which means that, yeah, I know he's the blocking archetype tight end, but he does get at least one slot for each archetype of tight end. So the first three slots, they're all blocking. So here's what he gets in this blocking slot. Today we're actually going to try and post up on Robert Woods. I feel like that might get a little bit glitchy. Also does get honorary lineman. Um, I believe he has yeah, secure protector, screen protector, tight end apprentice, bruiser for 3 AP as well if you want to go that route, deep in, all that good stuff. So yeah, these first three slots are all blocking. So I'll show you guys that real quick. The first three slots are all blocking archetype. This slot is possession. How do I know that? Because tight end apprentice is actually 1 AP on him here. So the, uh, yeah, the second to last slot is possession, and then, and then the last slot is actually vertical threat. How do I know that? Because, yeah, deep out and deep in are both 1 AP here. So we're actually going to run matchup nightmare in that slot. I kind of wish that there was one more vertical or one, or one more possession archetype slot here. So you could run, like, deep out on Robert Woods if you wanted to combine, you know, with matchup nightmare. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with these abilities. And we're going to try post up. Honestly, I'm not sure how practical it really is to run abilities on your tight end at this point. But... Yeah, you, you can definitely you can definitely get away with like running like matchup nightmare red zone threat for sure, man. So um team cams does get Rams and Bills, so two good theme teams. And yes, you will actually get benefits from being on a theme team, unlike a lot of the cards that we're getting these days. On a full 50-50, you can get him the 99 speed, 99 acceleration. I mean, also does get a secondary position wide receiver. So yeah, you can literally play this guy anywhere in your lineup, however you want him to fit your cams and stuff like that. So um yeah, I'm a big fan of the versatility of this Robert Woods card for sure. But uh, yeah, let's just hop right into it, man. Like I said, I'm a big fan of this card. Hopefully, we can go out there, maybe lay some lumber. I'm going to run the ball a few times so we can kind of see that run block and go crazy. I might put him outside at receiver whenever we run the ball so he can kind of be like a fullback out there at receiver. That's kind of my plan. That's kind of my idea with this card. And hey, he might stay on the team depending on how low his price gets because I've got a good feeling about this card. I really, really do. And I know people are kind of sleeping on Robert Woods because of that hype, but I think this card's going to be an absolute cheat code out there, man. So yeah, that's enough talking. Let's hop right into it. All right, here we go. Game number one, and we are facing, we are facing the golden ticket RG3. Oh boy, here we go. We got James Morgan still, Neville Hewitt, Keyshawn Johnson. His name is You Got, You Got Ufit. You Got, I don't know what kind of name that is, but um, we're starting this game off on defense. We're going to have to make a stop against RG3, which is not going to be enjoyable at all. Um, I haven't faced RG yet. It's my first time I've used him. I've used RG, but 
haven't um haven't faced them yet so here we go this is gonna be uh probably a pretty painful gameplay i have to imagine defensive wise I'm um, hopefully uh, Robert Woods can make something happen though on offense. That'd be nice. And the plan today for Robert Woods is to use him in every position that he's able to play in. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put him at receiver. Obviously, I want to see how the run blocking is out there. Also, the route running on this card. I'm, I'm gonna play him at fullback and obviously tight end too. So that is the plan for uh, Robert Woods today on offense. If we can get there without sacrificing a touchdown, he's got Raheem though. He's got Andre Johnson. He's got Marvin. And uh, yeah, here we go. Let's see what RG's got up his sleeve here, man. Uh, one play wants to go corner route underneath. He's gonna go the underneath route right here. I guarantee that. Good throw. Hit stick. Oh, we do get a, a nice little deflator hit stick right there by Marcus May. I'll take that. I'll take it. It is what it is. Um, I'm not even in my defense yet. So once we get there, we should be okay. When I come out in man, it does throw my opponent off. Because then I go right to my zone. And the two defenses are, are just so different that they're, they're ready for one thing and something else happens. That, that's what happens a lot of the time. Who does he want? Goes deep. Just What the? Was that a throw under pressure? Why was that throw so short? What? That's golden ticket RG making throws like that? And he's going to quit. Come on, man. Dude, I'm telling you, dudes quit so fast, man. It's so brutal. It's so hard to get offensive gameplay because you have to start on offense. If you don't start on offense, you're probably not seeing the field on offense. It's just as simple as that. You're probably not. All right, here we go. Game number two. I just really hope we're starting off on offense. It's starting to frustrate me. Hopefully, the end of the year, the mutt does not continue to stay like this. Just every time, man. And we're starting off on defense. Oh, my. Oh. I'm going to give this guy a touchdown. I'm going to give this dude a touchdown. I don't... I'm going to run commit. I, I just want to get the ball on offense. Take a free touchdown, dude. Go. Oh, my... Yo, and by the way, we have three 17s in the bunch. Look at the bunch. There are three number 17s in the bunch. That is so funny. That's got to be the first time that's ever happened. Three number 17s on... Look at that. They don't know who's who. They're, that guy's confused out there. Let's try a little rollout corner. We got James Morgan still. We got to do it, right? Let's try a rollout corner. And we're on offense, man. I'm so excited. Here we go. Robert Woods first throw of the day. We're getting chased down on the, on, under pressure. Morgan gets it there. We're going to get stopped short right there with Robert Woods for his first catch of the day coming here in game two. And I'm going to throw him at fullback, actually. Let's put him at fullback and try running this thing in. So, yeah, like I said, him being a tight end makes this card so versatile. He can literally play anywhere on the field. And also, if you run a formation with a fullback, having that route running at fullback is so rare and so hard to find that, like, that's why I think Robert Woods might actually be valued a little bit. So, Let's try the fullback dive of the middle. Should be an easy touchdown. Robert Woods is fighting for his first TD of the day. And we got it done rushing, which I never thought I'd really say. And now we're getting up close and personal. We are in his business right now. But, um, yeah, let, let's keep playing some defense. Uh, I cannot believe that dude threw a pick on a run commit. Try the run commit. We'll give this dude a touchdown. Uh, all I want to do is get a full field drive with, with Robert Woods. It's really all I can ask for. It's so hard to get full field drives. But, um, yeah, here we go. We're going to try it. We're, we're going to try him at tight end here, wide receiver. I want to show him, I want to show up that run blocking as well because we do have a post up on Robert Woods. I also want to show off the impact block, all that good stuff. So, yeah, that is the plan for this drive. Just kind of test them out everywhere and uh, show off the versatility of this card. There's Robert Woods playing fullback. Let's watch him as a run blocker. Here we go. Should pick some dudes up. Oh, he mi Robert, are we being serious? I'll, I'll highlight him for you. There he is right there. Watch the blocking. Watch the post up. We can post the light up right there. So we actually doing much better run blocking right there. I'm, a, I'm, a, yeah, I was gonna, let, I was gonna fall anyway, but much better there at tight end with post up. Obviously, that's gonna work. Post up does work better on the line of scrimmage. But um, let's get Robert going out of the backfield a little bit. So I'm gonna put him at fullback. We're gonna throw Robert. Yep, fullback. Here we go. And then the plan is, I want to run him on a route. I think I want to do a Texas route with 99 short route running. Um, he's basically the best route running running back in the game technically because he, because he's out of the backfield. So yeah, let's see if uh, we can get that Texas route working, cooking some dudes. And let's see if we can try to fool this man's user. So that is the plan. So, hey, Robert Woods doing that. This route might, this, this play's kind of glitchy. Especially if he, like, he might run coming here. He might think a run's coming. But in reality, Robert Woods about to get open underneath. There we go, Robert. Up the middle. And I, I just, it's just, it's just instinct for me to air choke with my tight end. And I just continue, I just keep doing that with Robert Woods. I'm not sure if that's actually the best thing that we could do. But now I want to put Robert at receiver. So let's put him at receiver. We got a fullback that can play wide receiver. You kind of have to get the job done. This guy's been sitting in stock cover through the whole day, so this should work. We should have an easy tut here. Let's see. No, it's actually not that. We're gonna lead it over the middle and Robert Woods. Good dot broken tackle. So um it wasn't a cover three. It may, been, it may have been a cover two there instead. You cover two man and a good dot right there. We'll take that. James Morgan is doing his thing right now. All right, so I have another idea on how we can use Robert Woods. You guys know that I love um, running this run play right here. So oh, I didn't mean the I, I didn't mean the call hike there. And we fumble need to. So what I was going to do is, before I accidentally call the hike, was I was going to motion Robert Woods and kind of use, like use him like a lead blocker 
as a receiver, and so we'd also have the tight end blocking. But instead, I accidentally called hike, and we did an auto hurdle fumble. Robert Woods gonna get open over the middle. There we go, Robert. Show me something. Click on. He's not gonna click on, unfortunately. But I did feel the kind of the low COD right there. But we're actually doing pretty decent. We're doing pretty decent right now. Let's go, let's go with another run. All we need is one yard. He should be able to get get it here for us. And he's gonna fall forward for a first down. That's all you want your fullback to do. And yeah, two rushes, four yards, and a touchdown so far for my man Robert. Double team this guy on the outside here, so we can actually roll out. It's man coverage, I think. So we should have a tight end. We should have a tight end actually on. I mean, not a tight end, a middle linebacker on him. Robert Woods cooks a cornerback, and that's to be that's to be a touchdown as a receiver. So. This is what I mean. This card is just so versatile. You've seen me run the ball with him at fullback. You've seen the run blocking. The route running's there. The catches and, tra the catches and traffic are there as well. Um, Robert Woods can literally just play anywhere on the field. This guy's an absolute playmaker, man. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for the Robert Woods gameplay. And yeah, like I said, I like this card because he's so versatile. But I don't know if a card for his versatility is worth 500k right now. If Robert Woods' price does drop to like where James Morgan's price is right now, I'll probably roster him because I love, like I said, his versatility as a run block or a fullback, a receiver that can run routes at a good, at a very high level, and being a tight end too that can run the corner routes. And obviously, this guy is gonna just cook linebackers with, with his speed and his route running. So, yeah, the versatility is the main thing with Robert Woods that I just love, and also the abilities are good too. The post up did light up. Say you just want to run post up on this guy. Say you're a runner. Post up on Robert Woods is not a bad call because if you are someone that likes running those heavy sets with all those tight ends, throwing a guy like Robert Woods like in the middle and kind of like get, get him in the mix there. And then you can run a play action, and, this, you, and you have a guy out there with 99 mid route running, running corner routes or crosser routes. It could be a pretty deadly concept. I feel like people are going to find a really good way to use this card. Um, probably much better than I did today in today's gameplay. But um, yeah, I recommend him when his price does fall. For 500k right now, I'm not sure if it's actually worth it. But yeah, like I said, James Morgan price range. I'm going to jump all over this card for sure. But uh, yeah, if you are still watching, let's comment the tree emoji for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. Turn notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.